have a question for you. You're taking a science class and it's graded on three exams. They're all weighted equally. Would you rather get three B pluses or two A's and an F? The three B pluses certainly will lead to the higher grade overall, right? Uh, and so as long as each of them are counted equally, you'd be a fool to go for two A's and an F. Yet this is exactly the approach that most people take when getting letters of recommendation for medical school. They have two people who know them well and write great letters, and one who doesn't know them at all and writes a terrible letter. Your goal is to get letters of recommendation from people who know you well. And sure, in an ideal world, you'd have straight A's across the board. But when asking how many letters you should submit to medical school, you should only submit letters if they're going to be good. And they're good if they know you well. So, what's the minimum number of letters that you need for medical school? Well, typically medical schools are going to require two letters of recommendation from professors of science and one additional letter of recommendation, either from a non-science faculty like an English professor or somebody like that, or just from someone who knows you outside of the classroom. On the other hand, you can send up to 10 letters of recommendation to some schools, which probably not a good idea because I'm guessing they're not all A-plus letters. So as you consider how many to send, hit the minimums, two professors of science, and then generally aim for up to two to three additional letters as long as they're good. 